Welcome back to another episode of The Throwdown, where we discuss, you know, who's right, who's wrong, what's up, what's left, what's down, and all around. Today, I think we're going to discuss something that I feel like everybody has a connection with, whether you stayed home from school or summer vacation started and you were putting the TV on in the morning. A show by the name of Price is Right with Bob Barker, as we kind of grew up with, even though now today is Drew Carey. He does a good job. He's all right. But he's no Bob Barker with that long, skinny microphone that he would have. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, and talking about spaying and neutering your pets and whatever. But uh, yeah, so basically what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss our favorite games on The Price is Right. So before we get into that, Cast, if you wouldn't mind coming on down and putting <laughs> five minutes on the clock and... Uh, let me see. I'll get my gong here for you. All right. And if get you that gong mind, why? Thank you very much. Uh, let's let's start off with scales. Scales, tell me your favorite Price is Right game. My favorite Price is Right game. Some may know it as the Yodel game, but it's really called Cliffhangers. Duffy, can you hit us with a little cliffhanger song? Ooh. This guy play yodel for days. Yes, the cliffhanger. So basically the object of the cliffhanger is a contestant has uh, three items that they have to guess the price on. And this little yodeler is climbing up this mountain. Um, and it goes uh, to $25 roughly, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and each dollar that the customer is off when they guess, he yodels and he starts climbing. So the object is to make sure you're not off by $25 total between when you guess all three items. If you're not, you win all three things and you get to go on to the showcase and spin the wheel and uh, the yodel game. I love it. love the music. Love the love the whole thing. Yeah, uh, that's a good choice. It would just give me so much agita, though. You see the guy going up, and you're like, oh, my God, stop, uh, stop, yeah. stop. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Scales, can you show us one more time how the guy goes up? Is it like this? Uh, so he can curve like this. Oh, yeah, no. like a ski Jeez. Thing. My God. Is that a my visual hand effect? My hand doesn't do that. Jeez. <laughs> that's real life. Is that? My God. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> cast, what do you got? What's your favorite uh, Price is Right game, as you remember? Yodels are great, but ring things are better. Um, I'm going <laughs> to go with the main one that I remember, and it's it's probably an obvious one for everybody, but I'm going with Plinko. Um, Plinko, it just looked like so much fun. You get to go to the top of that board and drop the chips down and you know, hope that they land you know, in the money. Um, I feel like it's not as much skill. It's a lot of luck, you know, because things are just going to take the bounces that they may. Um, the reason why I have such a special attachment to Plinko is I went out after work many, many years ago, you know, with a couple friends from work and we were at this, uh, this high rise in Manhattan and <laughs> there was food and there were a bunch of paper plates. And for whatever reason, we dropped a whole bunch of paper plates off the side of the building and said that we were playing Plinko, uh, watching where they, wow, <laughs> watching where they landed, oh, you know, from like forty stories up, and it's like, yeah, let's drop more play. It was very, very stupid, but wow, um, that's what I think of any time uh, okay. I hear Plinko. So Plinko is my favorite because All I got right. to play it, you know, with you know, with people. <laughs> Plinko people with people off the side of a building. That sounds like a great time. Um, Fantastic. All right. I mean, both excellent games. I think those are pretty uh, notable games as most of the one, you know, most people when they think of, you know, Price is Right, those are the ones that come to mind. Um, I know, you know, we were talking a little bit about this before, but yeah, the dice game that I think you were talking about at one point, Scales, that, that was also a cool one. Yeah. Um, I'm a little bit more of a fan of just the basics, like, you know, the first initial, you know, when, when uh, everyone's down at the front and they're trying to guess the price to get up on the stage, that one kind of annoys me because you'd always have that one jerk that would either do $1 or they'd bet $1 over the person next to him. And I'm like, come on, that should not be allowed. That's not fair. It's the worst. And then, you know, that person would end up getting on there. And it's like, you know, this poor old lady who traveled from, you know, Arkansas to <laughs> California can't get on, you know. To, to meet their idol, Bob Barker. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm more of a fan of, you know, the wheel and in the middle, like I, I just, 
there's something about you know spinning that big wheel seeing all the colors on it and when someone actually hits that like that one dollar mark and they go nuts and they give bob a, or drew a big hug or whatever and they're going crazy um i've always been a fan of that one and you know the the ones that really kind of spin it and then you have the the, the older people that can barely move the wheel and it's just <laughs> it was just always enjoyable to me um yeah those that that one i'd probably have to go with the big wheel i don't know if it has a specific name but just like the showcase uh the wheel spins nice. thing yeah. Yeah, that's um, awesome yeah and then uh yeah so that was that was my favorite um might as well put a little you want putting a little bit more time on that clock there and maybe we can have some either some notable mentions here or you know so many final closing thoughts uh that we might have two um minutes. okay all two right. minutes two starting minutes. two all minutes right. all right uh let's go reverse order here cast uh any closing thoughts anything that you want to uh think about here or talk about when in the dice game do you have to go on and go Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Dice man. So two things. It was really exciting. When, actually, three things. Really exciting whenever somebody guessed the price exactly and you heard that sound. It's like, oh, shit, which one's it going to be? Um, two. There it is. Two is, yeah, despised whenever somebody guessed one dollar more than whoever's before them loved it when the next person's like yeah mother 602 <laughs> like, yes one dollar yes. the one dollar person it's like good <laughs> Got him. and then and then it's even better when neither of them wins um you hit the nail on the head about watching it when you're homesick from school because that's what you did um and what's with bob barker's this obsession with cutting your pets balls off and you know, take, <laughs> taking out taking out all their uh you know female organs like come on. that was, that like, was I, I get it i get it if it's an outdoor Jeez. pet but if it's yeah. if your pet's living inside leave the poor leave the poor thing alone <laughs> <sighs> scales what do you got yeah i always wanted to spin that big wheel it's like some people like spin it, how much like, it going around made. like so hard yeah. and then some people are spinning it, it's like barely making it like how heavy was that thing i want to know <laughs> i want to spin it one day um yeah, just you guys had great picks as well. Um, there's so many games. Um, the Bullseye game, I remember that one as a kid. That was fun. Um, but then the the showcase showdown to me was like, even as a, as a kid, was like always impossible. Like, how the hell are you gonna guess a get close to a price on like yeah. all this like super expensive random shit? A car, a vacation, a God knows where. Like, I don't know. Just like throwing a number out there. So it's like exciting when somebody like gets close to it. It's like, yeah, good for you, man. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like that the the final showcase showdown. It was always. I feel like the first set of gifts were always like something where I'm like, oh, I don't want that. Like, <laughs> oh, there's like a you know, oh, a clothing you know thing or like a vacuum or whatever. And then the second one was like, you know, a trip to Italy and a brand new car and you know, all that. <laughs> and it's like I, I don't know, but it was exciting when the person I forget the rules, but they had to guess. What was it within a hundred dollars of their own showcase and they would win both? Is that what it was? I was gonna say a hundred or a thousand, I can't remember. But yeah, I can't remember was... exactly what it was. But when that happened, it was like, oh my god, yeah. they just won yeah. both. Yeah. I wonder how many how much taxes they had to pay on that. But uh, oh. that's a whole other story. So, <laughs> my friend my friend told me that his friend, I think, was on the prices right and won a car and couldn't afford to pay the taxes on the car and had to sell the car to pay the taxes on the car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> there you go Secundo. <laughs> I, I had to throw that in there somewhere um all right good talk guys good talk um so yeah i think that kind of wraps it up for today um price is right classic iconic show i'm sure there's some other game shows we might be able to get into down the road but uh that's all we got for today i hope you enjoyed what we talked about if you have any questions comments concerns what are your favorite uh games on the price is right I don't know. Who do you like better, Bob Barker, Drew Carey, or no one else? Because that's all it's been. Um, yeah, tell us. Uh, give us your concerns, your comments. Let us know how we're doing. Is there anything we can do better? Um, follow us on our social media, um, Instagram, our TikTok. Uh, you know, listen to us on Spotify if you can't, or Apple if you can't see us on the YouTubes. Um, and you know, stay tuned for a lot more material. You know, we're we're uh, we're. We're spitting this stuff out. We have a lot of good ideas for you guys. And, you know, again, if you guys have any ideas for us, shoot us some uh, some ideas. What do you want to hear us talk about? Um, do you want to hear us talk about nothing? We can try to do that for a whole episode. It might be kind of boring. Um, but, yeah, let us know and uh, stay tuned for next time. And until then, we will see you guys later. Ta-ta. Later, Gators. Bye-bye. <laughs>